Hey, Ronnie Dale, fourwheelingwestonaustralia.com and welcome to another baking video. I'm going to do another three dampers, but this time they're all going to be sweet dampers, so kids will love these. Um, these are really good. Now there's one in there that's going to be an experiment, but I have no doubt it's going to be really bloody good. So in the background here, we've got the boys working on the, on the shack, it's nearly done. Harry's over there. Chopping up a bit more wood, keeping the fires going. So we got some good coals, and we're actually going to record a few more uh, food segments out here. Uh, Harry's got some really tasty things planned, but this video is all about the three sweet dampers. So stay tuned. To my overseas viewers, you might be wondering what the heck is a damper? Well, a damper, in other words, is just quick bread. Three cups of self-rising flour, one cup of water, so three to one ratio with the liquid and the flour and all the extra ingredients which I'm going to show you. So simple, so easy. Follow the steps and just go out and give it a go. You won't be disappointed. And any kids watching, just get your parents onto it. It is so good, it is so easy. Ingredients. The first one we're gonna start with is an apple and cinnamon damper. And we're using self-raising flour for all of them. And then we have another one, chocolate and marshmallow. Now this one I haven't tried before, so I reckon this one will be pretty good. You can't fail with chocolate marsh marshmallows. And then a, a kid's favorite, kids absolutely love this one. I make this on the tag along tours that I conduct and I normally make a damper for the kids. So honey and raisin damper. So it's a sweet damper. Let's get stuck into it. So first things first, we're gonna chop up our apples. Got my ultra sharp knife here. Only that sharp. So this knife is so sharp, the apple's scared. See? Look at that, pre-cut. Now, best way to cut the core, which I just worked out, is this way. We're in the bush, private property. I will pick that up though, throw it in the fire. But if you spill a bit out here, it doesn't matter. The chunks we want, Let's go for about that size. Oh, thank you. So about a thumbnail size. So apples chopped. Thanks, Harry. Next thing we do, real simple, three cups of um, self-raising flour. Now, if you have a proper cup measurement, then three and a half, but this is a mug. And just to quickly emphasize on how simple these are, three cups of flour, one cup of water, that's all you need. You got a damper. All right, so that's three cups of flour. There we go, and there's our water. Next thing we do, hey Harry, do you want some of this cinnamon for anything else today? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, okay so I can't use too much then? Uh, yeah, leave a little bit if you can. All right, cool. So because I got cinnamon sugar, I was supposed to have cinnamon, I grabbed the wrong, wrong one from the pantry. So I'm not putting in as much as I would like to. All right, in with the apples. There we go. In goes the water. And then we're just gonna be rough with it. Now it has been suggested on a previous video, uh, on the other damper one I did, that I should put oil in my hands before I do the mixing because it's easy to get the dough off. So how about we try it out on the next one? Now comes the fun part. We're gonna make a bit of a hole in it and then we're gonna put some custard in the middle. Uh, cuts us in the other angle fridge, the bigger one. Yeah, not too hard to reach. <laughs> Cheers. I don't put too much in. And then we close it up. Uh oh. Probably put a bit too much in there. She'll be right. Found a little leak on the bottom there. So it's just a matter of peeling something off somewhere else and then plugging a hole.
All right, ready for the camp oven. Oh, look at that. Thank you very much. Cool. And this is going to need about half an hour. Uh, we'll go over to the coals now. We just want heat from the top. Well, I'll check in about 20 minutes because it is pretty windy. So, in, when it, in windy conditions, you can either burn it really easy or it can take a lot longer. So, 20 minutes, check it if it's windy. If it's not windy, 25 minutes, it should be just about done. Okay, it's been on there for a fair bit. I'd say about 45 minutes. Checked it twice. It is pretty windy. And, um, I did put more custard in than I normally do. Only put, normally only put a little bit of custard in and then you dip it in custard later. But there's a lot of custard in there. The boys egg me on. I'm not using a crowbar because it's something I normally use. It was just handy. It's just right there. That looks fantastic. Let's put this up here. All right. There we go. Yeah, this is good. So we're gonna let this cool down before we cut it up, otherwise all the custard will just ooze out. So we kind of want it a bit cool, so it kind of sets a bit. Let's cut it up and see what we got. That looks gorgeous. Nothing better than hot bread. All right, you're gonna have to squat down so the uh, camera can see you. Harry's behind the camera. Come around, Harry. All right, then you have a custard bit. Oh, you can definitely say the custard. That's good. Mm. That's really good. Mm. I just want to smoke in my eyes though. Yeah. Probably a little bit more cinnamon. It's lacking a little bit in the cinnamon, but we need some cinnamon for mm. our other cooking thing. Mm. What do you reckon? A bit of custard? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Mm. yeah, spread the um, custard like butter on top of it. Mm. Again, three cups of flour. This time around to speed things up, we are going to use a bigger camp oven and put two dampers into it. So the honey and fruit, and also the chocolate marshmallow will go into the same camp oven. This time we're gonna add some caster sugar. So with the caster sugar, you want about a tablespoon and a half. That's roughly it. Throw that in. And this time we are doing the honey and fruit mix. Now, you don't actually need sugar with this one. It's quite sweet with the honey already. But uh, my cameramen like things very sweet. Don't you, boys? Yep. Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to throw all the rest of the fruits in there. That's about a handful. A box like this does about four of them. So I've made four out of this box of this exact damper. And then the honey. I never really measure the honey. Oh, I just put a fair bit in. Now if you can heat the honey in the sun first, it makes it a bit easier to mix when you put it in. That's about enough. And then again, got some water. And then we mix again. And yes, I forgot to oil my hands on this one, so I'll do it on the next one. All right, so any kids watching, get your parents onto these. 
because you will love these. These are so good. This is probably my favorite. It's so simple. Like I said, you don't need sugar. It's just flour, honey, and mixed fruit. Or you can just go raisins. So just a tip with dampers, when you put them in your camp oven, if you make them like a ball, you can sometimes burn the top and then the middle is still a bit doughy. You don't want that, so kind of flatten them out a bit. Not too much, just flatten them out a little bit and you'll find the middle will cook a lot better and it'll be more consistent. It's more forgiving with the heat. So if you have too much heat or too little heat, it's way more forgiving. And you can in fact put a slice through like that and it kind of makes it easier to break away. There are four of us here, so that's a good equal share. And now to the chocolate and marshmallow experiment. I hope this works out, because if it doesn't, I don't know if it should be part of the video. Fingers crossed, it can't go wrong. It's chocolate, marshmallows, how can that possibly go wrong? Let's put a bit more in it. More plastic, I want that flying around here. Marshmallows. I better save some for the fire tonight. So what we want here is a bit sort of chunky. So I'm gonna cut it into thick strips. Mmm. One for me. One for you. Marshmallows will go into halves. Like so. Bit short on flour here. Hey, you know what? If you're a bit short on flour, just make shortbread. Boom, boom. Now I was going to make donuts, but I'm a bit tired of the whole thing. <laughs> These are so bad. <laughs> yeah, I know. Time for the ingredients to go in. Oh, I'm looking forward to this one. Hey, we're not making four dampers. Yeah, right, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Let's All actually right. do this. Do you want to pour it on you? Yeah, so how much oil do you reckon? Just a good coating. <laughs> like that. <laughs> that much oil, exactly right. that much oil. There we go. See, I do listen to my viewers when people remind me. So the idea here is oil and water don't like each other, or don't stick with each other. There we go, almost there. Um, yeah, the oil thing is kind of working. I'll blame this on Harry, he didn't give a good consistency of oil on my, on my hand. No, 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 no. You want a bit more? No. Okay. Oh, you reckon? Yeah, put, on, put a bit on now and it should come off. All right, let's find out. Well, actually. It is actually. It's not even sticking. Oh, there you go. So baking bread is how bakers make dough. Probably want to get all the bits of chocolate inside the bread under the dough because they do tend to, or chocolate tends to burn. Pretty easy. Okay, it's been on for a while. I'd say 25 minutes this time we put a lot more heat on top of this being a bigger camp oven. Oh, I dropped one little bit in there. Get that out. Oh, that is looking good. It's looking real good. That's perfect timing. Right. All right, lads. Drum roll. Which one should we go first? Let's start with this one because I know this one's going to be. I know this one's going to be good. Perfect. Last time I actually made this, I failed a little bit. I burnt the top and the middle was gooey because of the winds and the rain. Okay, there you go. Nice big piece. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. Cool. That's nice. That's good. 
Very nice. A yep. little bit of butter, that'd be amazing. Yeah, yep. butter. Mm. It's got to have butter. Mm. It's awesome. Kids love this one. Fantastic. In the um, Ingle Draw cool. fridge. Okay, marshmallow and chocolate time. Experiments. Hmm. This is really sticky. My hands are sticky just touching this, to this. this one. Here we go. Check that out. It's like the um, marshmallows have left little holes in it. Oh wow. I'm using your everything knife. There you go. Marshmallow chocolate. Thank you. Marshmallow chocolate. Yep. <laughs> Giant marshmallow chocolate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling Micro in, <laughs> marshmallow chocolate. I'm gonna end up like the last oh. episode. That's, cool. yep. That's candy bread. Yep. That's the one. Man, this is good. I'm trying it without. Oh, Whoa. Yeah. Kids, definitely brush your teeth after this one. <laughs> or at least rinse your teeth out with red creamy soda. And go for a run. Nah, don't do that. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm. And parents? I'll suggest this one over that one. This one's gonna make your kids go nuts. This is so good. Keep this one for yourself. Oh, that's better than birthday cake. That could be a birthday cake. That, that might be my next mm. birthday that's cake. Right. That is epic. Mm. So thanks for watching another baking episode. I hope you learned a few things here. Now, just go out and give it a go. And kids, if you're watching, just push your parents to try it. It is so easy to do. You need not many ingredients at all. So. Do try it, and thanks again for watching. You can subscribe somewhere here, and uh, if you'd like to support the creation of content like this, you can go to patreon.com slash Dale. Thanks again. I'll see you in the next video. Oh, how good is this one? Oh, that's so good.